So there were a few other things that we didn't get a chance to talk to on this last episode, 10.33. Jared, ah, the long goodbye yes, with so Cassini. Long. Tell me what's going on. So Cassini has completed its final journey through the gap between the interior of Saturn's rings and the cloud tops of Saturn's atmosphere. And it's currently heading on its way now to end its mission in the atmosphere of Saturn. Uh, now Cassini, the spacecraft that we have at Saturn, uh, has undoubtedly been one of humanity's uh, greatest expeditions of exploration in terms of science knowledge that we've gained from it, technical knowledge from designing the spacecraft, and simply the endurance of Cassini as well. It's been in space for nearly 20 years, just a few weeks shy of 20 years. Um, now, Cassini has traveled 7.9 billion kilometers, executed 2.5 million commands, collected 635 gigabytes of data, discovered six moons at Saturn, performed 162 flybys of Saturn's moons, completed 294 orbits of the Saturnian system, them, taken 453,048 images. It's been data has been used in 3,948 published papers. It's burned its engine 360 times, and it has shown that 27 countries can cooperate on a mission of incredible discovery. Um, now, before Cassini. There were things that were considered science fiction, uh, like a small ball of ice generating enough energy to have an ocean. That was that was the realm of, of books and, and films of science fiction. But images like this from Enceladus have shown us that it actually is scientific fact. Um, the idea of a liquid cycle on a celestial body uh, was strictly driven by water. That was until we looked at Titan with Cassini, and we saw that even though the temperatures there are extremely cold on Titan, minus 180 degrees Celsius, um, that there's still a liquid cycle happening there. It's not happening with water. It's happening with methane. And then we look at the rings, which were considered a old but complex structure. And we now know from early results gathered by the science in these final 22 grand finale orbits that the rings are likely very young um, in terms of uh, the, the age of things um, in our solar system. Just just a hundred million years old, and they're even more complex um, than we could even dream up. And the the bittersweet part um, about this incredible mission that Cassini has done is that tomorrow, September 15th, 2017, it all comes to an end. Um, mm. When Cassini was fabricated, it wasn't known uh, that Titan would be so close to the prebiotic chemistry um, that we've seen. The ingredients for life are at Titan. Um, it's just that the energy isn't there. And, and um, we, we didn't know that Enceladus was potentially the best place for life off of Earth present in our solar system. So because of that, because we did not have that knowledge, um, before Cassini, the spacecraft itself wasn't built to the, spe the specifications of cleanliness that say um, something landing on the surface of Mars is. So in order to prevent contamination, it was decided that with what little fuel Cassini has left, that it would be sent to plunge into Saturn's atmosphere. And as I mentioned earlier, tomorrow, September 15th, 2017, it will do just that. We're going to have the high gain antenna of Cassini aimed at Earth and set Cassini in a mode that will constantly transmit data from its instruments back to the Earth, um, inadvertently becoming our first atmospheric probe um, going into Saturn. Um, now, from entry into Saturn's atmosphere, which Cassini will be doing at 120 thousand kilometers an hour um, to Cassini losing control, losing contact with Earth, and burning up in Saturn's atmosphere. That will be about 60 seconds from touching the top of the atmosphere to Cassini burning up. Mm -hmm. um, the entry should begin right around uh, uh, 1154 coordinated universal time or 454 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time on September, on tomorrow, Friday, September 15, 2017. Um, and loss of signal is expected to occur 60 seconds later at 11.55 coordinated universal time, 4.55 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, also Friday, September 15th, 2017. And probably the most poetic thing about this um, is that Cassini will now, be coming, will now become a permanent part of the planet that it studied. So it spent 13 years around Saturn, and now it's going to become a part of Saturn. So 
Wow. Beautiful, beautiful end to an incredible mission. Yeah, so. no, that, that's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, if you're interested in more information about Cassini and the entire mission, you can go ahead and check out tomorrow's episode 10.15. Although if you're interested in more news and other things like that, you can look at our last week's show, 10.33. We talked with Stuart Money about the history of SpaceX, which was actually a lot of fun. And you can always join us live every Saturday at 1800 Coordinated Universal Time.